all right guys so this is a quick video and just wanted to show you how the raw files are differ and from jpeg like while raw files are much more important to shoot with rather than jpeg uh, by the way these all images are taking from iphone 14 pro all right so what i did i took these bunch of images like this one is in a haze format high efficiency and in instead of jpeg and then i took uh, the next one dng so uh, dng are the raws and uh, the highest format is basically a jpeg as you can see there's a big difference in color shift and everything so these are the uh chair like uh, the normal exposure then i took some underexposed images purposely uh, and then we'll see how the uh the highest format supposed to behave when i'm going to recover the exposure and how the tng file the raw file is going to behave when it comes to exposure recovery same uh, happened over here there are some normal shots from the both highs and the uh this is the raw file and this is the highs same i shot under expose uh the highs and the raw file so we are going to see each image one by one and then we'll see how uh the, these images perform when it comes to exposure recovery and why we have to shoot with raw files so let's go into the develop module um this is the raw file uh, this is the highest format of uh uh, an outdoor shot um, as you can see this is uh, the exposure uh, over here is blown out rest of the exposure is okay so if I look closely in the center where the highlights are blown out and I'm trying to recover the exposure over here I can't see much of a difference so if I over recover over here so it's not much we can see this is how it goes so let me reset so let me reset the image and this is the exposure that I able to recover and this is the uh, shadow recovery which is okay let me reset again so over here it is dark and I'm going to recover the shadows which is pretty straightforward and suppressing the highlights looks fine when it comes to raw file this is the raw file dng as you can see over here raw file so let's start playing with the raw file uh, look over here i'm going to recover the shadows recover and pre pressing the highlights and this is much more than uh, you can see in the raw file raw file is 48 megapixel i believe that's why it's too much detail so that's why it's showing me too much details so it's flat so i can push and pull a lot over here uh, in the raw file which i can't in the jpeg so if i'm trying to push the raw files you can see a kind of a weird artifact but because the exposure is okay that's why it's behaving so far so fair normal okay so here is the underexposed image same outdoor image but he is format which is the jpeg and i'm going to recover the exposure and as you can see straightforward the raw file is, uh, sorry the his format is gone i can't see anything over here or over here only i can see the exposure part in the middle so even if i'm trying to repress uh, recovering the highlights i i able to press the highlights but when i'm trying to pull up the shadows this is the result of the haze format so let me reset and I'm, let me go to the raw file as you this is the raw file as you oh look over here dng so i'm going plus look at that look at that i'm able to see a lot of detail of course you see the artifact but how different and uh, it is from the haze format <clears throat> i am able to recover the press the highlights able to recover the shadows much more better than the haze so this is a pretty straightforward case so if i'm able to recover 
the exposure in the X format this is what it is but in the raw file you able to see a lot better a lot a lot lot better same goes over here this is DNG file uh, raw format I can push pull a lot over here in the JPEG uh, his format yeah it's fine it's sharp but it's processed file I can do the same with with over here with the raw files now look at the underexposed part this is the underexposed ease format let me try to recover the shadows as you can see the blotching magenta blotching over here no much detail I'm trying to recover the shadows pressing the highlights is all weird artifact you you can clearly see it's gone as a totally unusable image haze format now let's go to the raw file this is dng raw format let me recover the exposure pressing the highlights recovering the shadows and it's pure blessing i mean you can use this image pretty straightforward even though it's the underexposed at the same level just like it's ease format which you can see is totally unusable but the raw it is usable same another image this is ease format this is raw uh, raw file so you can do a lot over here because the exposure is proper in the ease so you can push pull the highlights and shadows and you can play with the contrast or whatever but when you do with the raw file you you have much more flexibility to to go with you can even shift the white balance in the ease if i'm trying to shift the white balance uh, sorry this is the exposure shift the white balance yeah it works fine because the exposure was proper but with the, the raw file too much room now the same scene over here this is uh, the his this is the his same scene just like this same scene over here so let me recover the there's nothing it looks like i i captured the shot too much under exposed I, I can't see anything it's it's gone okay let's check the dng file this looks this is the dng file raw file oh my god i even at plus five i'm able to see a lot look at that look at that this is the raw file of the iphone and how much detail i'm able to recover from this so dark image look at this this is the darkest image and i am at plus five plus five and this is hundred percent plus shadow recovery look at that see so that's why the shoot in raw even if you're shooting with mobile shoot in raw and you will get a lot thank you for watching and i'll share with you some new content in the future thank you for watching